Already? There are no bears in this bakery by Julia Sarcone Roche. There are no bears in the Little Bear Bakery. I'm the whiskers of this neighborhood, and if it flutters, scurries, or scampers here, I know about it. My name is Muffin, and this is my tale. There are no bears in this bakery. Each night, the moon rises, the bread rises, and I rise. The air cools and the sounds get interesting. That's when the night shift begins. Scratch, 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 speak, 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 speak. Is the mouse behind the bakery. Clang, clash, 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 clang, clash, clash, Is the raccoons in the dumpster. Snip, snip, flip, flip, flip. Is the bats visiting the barber shop? I thought I knew all the night sounds until last night. <sighs> last night, after the sun rolled off the edge of the sky, a mysterious new sound rumbled over the windowsill. <sighs> I stepped out to investigate. The air was cool and wet, like a dog's nose. The alley was empty. No mouse, no raccoon, not even a bat. The bakery's back window was open like a crooked smile. I slipped into the darkness like icing melting down a hot cake. Inside, I listened for clues. Maybe it was a mouse. Mice like sprinkles. And that's when I saw it. It was the biggest mouse I had ever seen. Actually, it was the smallest bear I had ever seen. I was surprised. The bear was surprised. My tail was the most surprised. Rumbled the bear's belly. Up close, the bear smelled like old socks, cinnamon, and adventure. The problem was clear, and I was on the case. The rumbling grew softer and softer until... For a moment, everything was quiet. Too quiet. I heard snuffling sounds behind me. I had a tail. I mean, my tail had a tail. I mean, there was someone in the darkness. The darkness had eyes. And they were looking at me. My whiskers trembled. My paws shook. It was an enormous bear. It smelled like the dumpster on a hot day and rumbled louder than a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Suddenly it was lights out. Everything was dark and I couldn't move. I was smooshed like a muffin behind the couch cushions. I was in the middle of a giant bear hug. It was warm like a bath mat in the sunshine. It smelled like that bath mat near the bath. There was a low rumble from somewhere in the fur. Oh, wait. That was me. It turns out, big bears like sprinkles, too. The light began to nibble at the edges of the window. It was time for naps. Even my shadow was sleepy. I made sure the bears got on their way safely. The sun rose and stretched like a yawn down the alley. The bears rumbled back to the forest. The night shift had ended. My job was done. So that's it. 
Another case closed by Muffin. No bears in the little bear bakery. Not anymore. I took care of them. It was a messy job, but I handled it. Now it's time for a nap. Oh, and by the way, we're out of donuts. <gasps> and if you would like to know more about the adventures of Muffin the Cat, you can look for The Puzzle of the Empty Food Dish, The Clue Behind the Couch, The Secret of the Forbidden Closet, and The Mystery of How Everything Got on the Floor. Thank you.